When Maura Benson saw the headline, St. Louis County prosecutors charged that now former substitute teacher with rape and sodomy. I knew it was him. I knew it. And that makes me so sick to my stomach. Benson met Brandon Holbrook shortly after she turned 18 and had begun her senior year at Melville High School. It was August of 2019 and Holbrook's profile caught her eye on a dating app. He was nine years older than her. I was kind of thinking, well, why can't he date someone his own age or something? But I also kind of liked the excitement of it all. Soon into their relationship, she says the abuse yeah. began. Making him feel good was supposed to make me feel good. So did the terrifying confessions. The closer I got with him, the more he would reveal things of that nature, more like very pedophilic fantasies. A year and a half later, she'd had enough. He knew that I was kind of slipping out of his reach. She went to his house to end things. That's when she says he raped her. I was just so traumatized at the point that what I was, I was just trying to survive. She didn't go to the police. My body had just been violated. I didn't want to have to show it to a complete stranger or have to go through a rape kit. Benson moved on with her life and started working with children. The more I worked with kids and the more I realized just how vulnerable they are and just how, um, evil he was. So in November of 2021, she reported Holbrook raped and abused her through the state's Courage to Report system. I thought about it and I was like, I cannot sit here and just allow this person to work with children without at least trying to do something. Since it launched in May of 2019, 2,138 tips have come into the Missouri Highway Patrol's Courage to Report system. Those tips are sent to police departments and school districts. They're asked to report back within 30 days, but often don't. The Highway Patrol tells the I-Team it has only heard back on just 47% of the tips. Benson's tip went to the Melville School District, where Holbrook was working as a substitute in St. Louis County Police. The police officer told me that his contract had been terminated and that he was no longer, to work, no longer allowed to work for any of the Melville schools. So that's what I deemed to be true. But it wasn't. The school district confirms Holbrook continued working there for another six months. In September, St. Louis County prosecutors charged the 30-year-old with statutory rape and sodomy. Prosecutors say he assaulted a 14-year-old girl he met while substituting at Bernard Middle School. Court documents show Holbrook used school resources to find the victim's address. That's exactly what I was afraid of, and that's exactly why I reported him. Ten days later, Brandon Holbrook was found dead inside a cell at the County Justice Center yesterday. The St. Louis County Medical Examiner's Office says he died from a fentanyl overdose. The 14-year-old's family is suing the district, saying it let Holbrook keep working with children despite Benson's warning. Grant Boyd is their attorney. And doing these cases on nearly a daily basis, I'm constantly finding myself surprised at the level which people will go to to jeopardize the safety of children. Maura Benson is relieved her abuser can't hurt anyone else, but struggles with what happened. I still feel like I could have done more, but I am trying to forgive myself for that because I didn't do anything wrong. He did. <laughs> the Melville School District doesn't comment on pending litigation, so the district won't say what it did with Benson's tip. County police won't say what they told Benson either. That makes it tough to know whether the Courage to Report system is doing what it was created to do, prevent misconduct at schools. It also raises the question, could other tips like Benson's be falling through the cracks?